I helped a client cut their chatbot costs from 700 euros a month down to 30. And the crazy part, the money wasn't even the biggest problem. So in this video, I will uncover who the client was, the challenge that they were facing, how we fixed it, and how we have helped them to save over 700 euros a month. And if you are using a chatbot or thinking about creating one, this is the number one thing you need to get right. Let's dive in. So let me introduce you to the client. So my client, runs a digital product business and they have around 20 different products and each one of these products is delivered through a WhatsApp chatbot. So basically the chat experience is their product and how they have basically set it up before they started working with me is that each product had its own separate WhatsApp number. So you can basically compare this to a retail brand where the brand has like multiple locations and each location has its own WhatsApp number. That's basically how they did it as well. Like they had a different products, each product had its own WhatsApp number and each WhatsApp number had its own WhatsApp chatbot and they were using an enterprise chatbot platform and this is basically how the pricing worked when they started with this platform they needed to make an initial investment of 7,000 euros then for each month and for each whatsapp chatbot they needed to pay 29 euros a month so in total you have around 29 euros a month times around 20 or 25 different WhatsApp chatbots, you need to pay around 700 euros a month. And that's basically how the pricing works. So they had an initial investment of 7,000 euros, and then each month they needed to pay 700 euros. And I know what you are thinking, because that's the same thing that I was thinking, that's a lot of money. And it might be worth it, if the chatbot is working. But this is basically where the biggest problem came in. The chatbots were crashing consistently and they were mostly crashing during the weekends. And this was when my client wasn't working. So what basically happened is that people bought a product, right? They paid for the product and then they go to the WhatsApp chatbot in order to get the chat experience and get the product. Then there's a problem. The WhatsApp chatbot was crashing, so the WhatsApp chatbot didn't work. So what basically happened is that people didn't get the product that they pay for. So what do they do? They asked for refunds. And this basically led to two major problems. The first problem was that my client needed to fix all of this stuff in the weekend. And this is when my client wasn't even working. And the second issue is that they were losing a lot of money due to refunds. And that is on top of the 700 euros they need to pay monthly for the chapel platform. So it basically came down to this, like they needed to pay a lot of money for the chapel platform, but the chatbots were crashing consistently. The Customers weren't happy because they paid for a product and they didn't get the product. And then also my client needed to work on the weekends in order to fix all of this stuff. So it basically came down to that they had zero trust in the WhatsApp chatbots and in the automation. So then they came to me and basically asked, okay, can you make this more stable? And we basically fixed this in three steps, switch, simplify, improve. So the first thing that we wanted to do is switch chapel platforms. Like this chapel platform was crashing consistently. They needed to pay a lot of money. Like it wasn't any good. And my take with chapel platforms is there isn't one best chapel platform for any business, right? You basically just need to look at the specific needs of the business, then look at the chapel platforms that are out there and then match the needs of the business with a specific chapel platform. And that's exactly what we did. So we basically sat down with the client and we ask, okay, what do you want your chapel to do? But also, what do you want your chapel to do in the next two to four years? And this is a mistake that I see often when choosing software applications is that people only think about what they want right now. But you shouldn't think about what you want right now. You should also think about, okay, what do you want two years from now? four years from now because that's really important because if you're going with a chapel platform that only works right now but doesn't work six months from now you need to switch again and you don't want to switch again so we basically sat down with the client we asked okay what do you want right now what do you want like two years from now four years from now and they basically came back with these requirements so right now their chatbot was just using text but in the future, they also want to make a better experience by using images and video. Then they also wanted to scale quickly. So whenever they had a new product, they wanted to be able to make a WhatsApp chatbot themselves or make a flow themselves. So they weren't reliant on me or on any other chatbot developer in order to create it. 
right? So then the third thing that they wanted is they wanted channels. And when it comes to chatbot platforms, channels is the most important thing because it narrows down the list of chatbot platforms you can choose from. And in this case, they wanted WhatsApp, they wanted Instagram, Messenger, and they wanted WeChat because they wanted to go to China and Asia as well, because they're currently operating mostly in Europe. They wanted to go to China as well. And WeChat was super important here because that narrowed down the list heavily because a lot of chatbot platforms, they don't have WeChat. So if you need to look for someone that has WeChat, like it narrows down the list incredibly. Then they also wanted to connect their chatbot to other applications using the integration. So you need to be able to create the integration. And then also the chatbot needed to be GDPR compliant. Like they were operating mainly in Europe now. So all the data needs to be stored on servers in Europe. And then lastly, they also wanted custom analytics. They basically wanted to prove to partners that what they were doing actually made sense, that people were using their products, that people liked their products, and they wanted to use custom analytics for that. So that's basically all the stuff that they want. They wanted to create it themselves. They wanted to have text, but also images, video. They wanted to connect to other systems. They also wanted to use AI. I forgot to mention that. They also wanted to use AI. So AI, analytics, GDPR, that's basically what they want. So then we basically looked at a lot of different chatbot platforms and we ultimately came down to UChat. So UChat is a very good platform. It basically met all of the requirements and it's also very cheap. Like they offer a free plan and the pay plan already starts at $15 a month. And in the case of my client, we could go with the UChat $30 a month plan. And with UChat, the pricing scales with the number of budgets you have. So the more budgets you have, the more the price you pay. So what we basically did is we switched from the enterprise chatbot platform to UChat. And by doing that, the chatbots became stable. And this was actually pretty funny to me, like in some sense, it's like they went with an enterprise chatbot platform that costed a lot of money and they switched to UChat and UChat was 10 times more stable than the enterprise chapel platform, but UChat is made for small business. So I was like, that's really weird. Like if you go with an enterprise chapel platform, you would at least think that it is stable, but in this case, that wasn't, right? So that's basically what we did. It's like we switched from the enterprise chapel platform to UChat, it became stable. We were able to meet all of the requirements of the client, so they were happy. So that's basically the first thing that we did is we switched. So then the second thing that we did is we simplified the setup. So my client was having 20 different numbers, 20 different bots for 20 products that were all pretty similar. Like they were different, but they were pretty similar. Like 80% is similar, 20% is different. So I basically went to the client and I asked, okay, do you actually need 20 different WhatsApp numbers with 20 different chatbots in order to deliver this? And they basically said, no, we don't need it, but that's basically how we set it up. So what we did is instead of using 20 different numbers, we used one WhatsApp number. And then on that WhatsApp number, we had two main flows. And those two main flows delivered all of the products. And then when my client needed to add another product, they just needed to change three things. And that made them able to actually scale pretty fast. So that's basically what we did is the next step is like we switched chatbot platforms and then we simplified the setup. So instead of having 20 different numbers, we now have one number with two main flows. And that's just, that works great. And that basically brings us to the last step, which is improving. So the flows that my client was using were very basic. Like it was on WhatsApp, but it was all text-based and they actually wanted to add images. So that's basically what we did is we added images to the flows and that made sure that people had a better customer experience when having their products. Now it was just not only text-based, but it was also images. And where we are currently now in the process is that we are going to extend to other channels as well. So now we are only on WhatsApp, but we're currently in the process of extending to Instagram, Facebook, and also WeChat. And I think that's also the beauty of UChat. With UChat, you can just create one bot and then publish that across 10 different channels. And that's very good because with a lot of other chatbot platforms, you need to create a separate bot per channel. Right now, we just have one chatbot and we have it on WhatsApp, but we can easily publish this on Instagram, Facebook, and WeChat as well. So that's basically how we did it. We saved this client 700 euros a month just by switching to another chatbot platform, simplifying the setup and improving the flows. And now we are also to going to extend to other channels as well. And this is actually the main takeaway that I want you to get from this video. Sometimes in order to make a lot of money or save a lot of money, you just need a good chatbot platform that fits your needs. And it can save you 
thousands of euros, deliver a better customer experience, and also will allow you to be more scalable. So if you want to get started with choosing the best Chabo platform, I actually have a link in the description that goes to my website where you compare the most popular Chabo platforms on my website. And if you're convinced and actually want to get started with creating your own WhatsApp chatbot, please check out this video.